We're at 3.2b, adding rational numbers with different signs. To add rational numbers with different signs, we start at the first number, the first add end, as a point. Then we move in the positive or negative direction by the absolute value of the second number, that's the second add end, according to its sign. When we combine, that means add an increase with a decrease, we will add a positive to a negative. If we earn $20 for mowing a lawn and spend $3 for juice, we have a positive 20 plus a negative 3. It is equal to 20 minus 3. 20 plus a negative 3 is equal to 17, and 20 minus 3 is equal to 17. Here's our first problem. During the day, the temperature increases by 2 and 5 tenths degrees. At night, the temperature decreases by 5 and 5 tenths degrees. What is the overall change in temperature? First thing we do is use a positive number to represent the increase and a negative number to represent a decrease. We need to find 2 and 5 tenths plus a negative 5 and 5 tenths. We draw a point at 2 and 5 tenths right here. Then we draw an arrow the length of the absolute value of negative 5 and 5 tenths units to the left, because it's a negative add-in, we draw an arrow the length of 5 and 5 tenths that brings us to negative 3. The overall change is it decreased by 3 degrees. It decreased because we're going into the negatives and it landed at negative 3, so it was a decrease by 3 degrees. Here we need to find 1 plus a negative 6 and 5 tenths. We draw a dot for 1, it's right here, positive 1. We draw an arrow to the left that is the absolute value of negative 6 and 5 tenths units long. So it's going to be 6 and 5 tenths units long. Our arrow stops between negative 5 and negative 6 for negative 5 and a half, or negative 5 and 5 tenths. We know that 1 plus a negative 6 and 5 tenths is equal to negative 5 and 5 tenths. And we can draw tick marks between the whole numbers, between each integer, if that's going to help us find the 5 tenths. Here's our next problem. Sarah wrote a check for $8.50. Then she deposited $10 in her checking account. What was the overall increase or decrease in her account balance? First thing we do is we use a negative number to represent a withdrawal or writing a check. We use a positive number to represent a deposit. We need to find negative 8.5 plus 10. We draw a point at negative 8 and 5 tenths. That's going to be in between negative 8 and negative 9. It's right here. And then we draw an arrow to the right to show adding the absolute value of 10, which is 10. We draw an arrow going to the right to show we're adding a positive, And we're going to land at a positive 1 and a half or 1 and 5 tenths. Our result is 1 and 5 tenths. That means her account increased by $1.50. We're in the positives by 1.5. That means her account increased by $1.50. Do you remember the commutative property of addition states that we can add in any order and we will get the same sum? If we have a negative 8.5 plus a positive 10, it's equal to adding a positive 10 plus a negative 8.5. This is 1 and 5 tenths and this is 1 and 5 tenths. If we have a positive 1 plus a negative 6 and 5 tenths, it's equal to adding a negative 6 and 5 tenths plus a positive 1. They're both equal to negative 5 and 5 tenths. We'll get the same sum. Doesn't matter the order of the add-ins. We talked about this before. A conjecture is a statement that's believed to be true. We can make a conjecture about adding two rational numbers with different signs. Our conjecture is they will follow the same rules for adding two integers with different signs. 
If we have a positive 2 plus a negative 7, we find the difference of their absolute values. That would be a 7 minus 2. Their difference is a 5. And then we use the sign of the greater absolute value. 7 is farther away from 0, and it's negative. We have a negative 5. So if we have a positive 2 plus a negative 6 and 5 tenths, we find the difference between them. That would be 4 and 5 tenths. And we take the sign of the greater absolute value. That would be the negative 6 and 5 tenths. We have negative 4 and 5 tenths. We can model rational number addition using quarter coins. There are four quarters in one whole dollar. We can use each quarter to represent one-fourth. We can use heads as a positive one-fourth and tails as a negative one-fourth. If we want to add a positive three-fourths plus a negative one and one-fourth, we'd have three positive one-fourth quarters showing heads and we would have five quarters showing tails for a negative one and one-fourth. We make zero pairs. We have a positive one-fourth and a negative one-fourth. That's a zero pair. We have another zero pair. We have another zero pair. And we have two negative one-fourths remaining. That means we have a negative two-fourths, and we can simplify it to its lowest terms as negative one-half. We finished part B. We're going to move on to 3.2c, additive inverses of rational numbers. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.